one day before the 25th NATO summit in Chicago, three men under 25 were accused of making Molotov cocktails. This plot very clearly does not represent protest behavior. This is an ongoing investigation. This represents a victory, not a failure, in preventing something from happening. The three accused were supposedly planning to attack President Barack Obama's campaign headquarters, Mayor Rahm Emanuel's home, and other targets during this two-day summit. Their defense disagrees. It is part of the intimidation campaign. It is part of a fear campaign to deter people from getting out to protest. But that didn't seem to stop the masses on Saturday. Just north of downtown, charged up protesters, running. Dancing, marching, and chanting in temperatures nearing 90 degrees. About two to three hundred protesters have decided to take down a street. Basically, there are cars that were driving down that cannot go anywhere. These folks are, as you can hear, yelling our street. Their message is being definitely heard at this point in Chicago, just a day before the NATO summit begins. Healthcare is under attack. What do we do? We walked with them all afternoon. Most of the people were peaceful, but there were a few moments. Why don't you go? You're the one with the problem. We're doing fine. Where are we all? You have freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Other residents, they just sat back and watched the show move through their neighborhoods, like Roger Stedke. Well, if this is what they want to do, they this is a free country and they can do whatever they feel like to, they want to do as long as it is peaceful. Rahm Emanuel, did you expect us? Roger lives three doors down from Chicago's mayor, Rahm Emanuel. In front of the mayor's house, a line of force. Some protesters climbed up into trees. Others, they just sat down on the street, literally occupying the neighborhood. The bigger show starts Sunday, on the actual first day of the summit. Thousands, not hundreds, are expected to march two and a half miles to the convention center, where the delegates will be meeting. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Chicago.